that was before the porch of the Lord. Amen. May God bless you, readers, here and doers of his holy word. Amen. Hopefully you read that already. Amen. Amen. We just read it again. Amen. Hopefully you got some of that. Amen. But we want to uh, thank God for his word on today. Amen. But I want to use a thought on this morning. Amen. Under this series, reform for your reward. Or reform for the reward. Amen. Reform for the reward. Amen. 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 Pray our strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. The, the thing that we have been trying to press upon us is the need to finish strong. All right. Amen. I realize we now are two days into the new year. Amen. But you know what? We can still finish strong. Amen. 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 It is important for us to finish strong. Amen. I think I said it one week, we oftentimes start things that we don't finish. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Or we get started, we hit a bump in the road, and then we quit. Come on. Amen. The Lord wants us to finish strong. Amen. 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 So I'm praying that you finish 2021 strong. Amen. Amen. But I'm also praying that you finish 2022 even stronger. Amen. 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 It's important for us. Amen. We lifted up over these weeks five things for us to do to help us to finish strong. Yeah. One of those things was to daily fix our eyes on Jesus. All right. Amen. To keep our eyes on him. To keep the focus on him. Even in the midst of whatever we're going through, keep the focus yeah. on Christ. Because the enemy has a way of derailing us. Yeah. The enemy has a way of distracting us. Yeah. We've got to keep our eyes on Jesus. The other thing we said was that we have to daily surrender our efforts to him. Amen. amen. Whatsoever we're pressing to do, amen, we need to surrender our efforts to him. Which means then we allow him Amen. To take credit for the victory. Amen. Amen. Because too many victories without Christ, too many <laughs> victories without God makes us vulnerable. Yeah. Amen. We gotta, we gotta be able to submit and surrender our efforts to Him and allow Him, Amen, to take credit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The other thing we said is that there needs to be a daily renewal of God's Word. We need His Word every day. Amen. Out of all the other news we hear and see, we need some good news. Yeah. We need news of hope. We need news, amen, that's going to keep us encouraged. Yeah. We need the word of God. And it needs to renew us each day. Yeah. Amen. Once life takes something out of you, you need something like the word of God to put yeah. something back in you. Oh, amen. Something that's going to strengthen you. And then we also said, amen, that we need a daily dose of God's grace amen. as he works through us. Amen. Because anytime you are working for the Lord, you need his grace. Amen. amen. Because you will discover that you cannot do it. <laughs> amen. Amen. I have been trying to be a good pastor, but I know there have been some non-pastoral days. Come on, man. Amen. Come on. I need his grace. Amen. I need his grace to cover me. I need his grace to tell me it's all right. Get back in there. Yes, Amen. You messed up, but get back in there. I need right. his grace. All right. So we need that daily, amen, dose of God's grace. Amen. But then we finally said that fifth thing. Y'all remember it? Amen. Reflect daily on this. Amen. Which comes out of Philippians 1 and 6. Amen. He that began a good work in you. Amen. Will carry it unto completion. Until the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. We got to remember that. He started something. Amen. I'm loving the fact that the Lord started something that I couldn't start. Amen. I'm so glad. Amen. That he started something. Amen. I heard him pray this team earlier. Amen. We love him because he loved us. Amen. Amen. But he started a good work in you and I. Amen. And he will complete and finish what he started. All right. Amen. Amen. So let's go to this text, 2 Chronicles chapter 15. Amen. In a few minutes that we have, 2 Chronicles 15, amen, verse number 3. The, when you read the text, amen, and understand the background, amen, Judah, the, the nation of Judah has just come back from a victory. All right. 
Amen. Uh, emotions are high. They are feeling good. You know how it is after you have had a victory? Amen. You want to run a lap. Amen. After you have won a victory, you want to tell folks. You want to celebrate. Amen. Amen. And what happens is, is that the prophet of God shows up. So Asa shows up. Amen. Uh, uh, Azariah shows up. And he shows up to, to uh, confront them. He shows up to give them some news. Amen. And so when we look at verse number three, he gives them a little bit of a history of what has happened with the nation. Amen. He says, as a nation, they had gone a long time without the living God. Amen. Amen. They had gone a long time without the true God. Amen. And without a teaching priest and without the law. Right. Amen. They had been in this cycle, what we call cycle of apostasy, <laughs> for a while. Come on. Amen. They would have we. God, they loved God, and then all of a sudden they, you know, get beside themselves and walk away from God. Then they cry out to God. God go back and rescue them. Right. And they kept right. happening right. again and again and again. And the strange thing is, is that it's still going on. Amen. 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 I can remember some times and seeing people on all fours crying out to the Lord. But as soon as he got them up, as soon as they got that job, that car, that house, amen, they stopped showing up, they stopped tithing, they stopped praying, they stopped giving to God. Amen. Remember now, they have just come back from victory. victory. Amen. And so he goes out and he meets Asa and all the men of Judah and of Benjamin. And here's what he does. He does not go out to compliment them <laughs> on the victory. He doesn't go out to congratulate them on their success. But he goes to confirm, he goes to corroborate, and he goes to caution them. <laughs> Amen. It's in the text. Amen. He confirms in them what their duty is to God. Amen. Now that God has blessed you and continue to bless you, you have a duty to God. Amen. He, he confirms that with them. But he also is there to corroborate that God is with them as long as they are with God. Amen. As long as they are with the Lord, amen, he is with them. Amen. As long as they seek him, he will be fine. Amen. Amen. And he also goes to caution them. He says to them, do not forsake the Lord. Amen. If you forsake the Lord, he will forsake you. <laughs> if you turn your back on God, God will turn his back on you. Amen. Amen. But watch this. Within this, he also gives them a word of covenant. All right. Amen. If you seek God, you're fine. Amen. That's a covenant. Amen. Amen. If you look for him, amen, he will be there. Amen. 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 See, it's not that God moves. Breathe. It's not that God disappears. Come on, man. The problem is, is that we move. Come on. Come on. And we stop looking. <laughs> amen. And so, he, as a riot comes to say, listen, I want to confirm what your responsibility is with the Lord. Amen. And so he does this. He gives them an invitation to join God in covenant. Right. You understand covenant? It's relationship. All right. And so here it is. He reminds them, listen, that that recent success that you had, that recent victory, amen, that was proof of God's blessings toward you. Right. Amen. Amen. I can pause right there. Amen. Everything you made it through in 2021. Come on. Come amen. On. Was evidence and proof. Amen. Of God's blessing for you. Amen. Every time you cast that check, every time you 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.